Welcome to the latest Tempo Storm Meta Snapshot. A brand new deck has blown the wild format wide open, turning some contenders into pretenders and allowing underrated decks from our last Meta Snapshot to shine in this latest report. Even Paladin has taken the wild meta by storm, dominating Ladder in the early days of its discovery. At first, Ladder data even suggested that there were no bad matchups for Even Paladin. The deck's win rate has tempered since its discovery but Uther still has a sizable grip on the metagame. Its massive influence in the format has earned it a clear tier 1 spot on the newest meta snapshot. What has Even Paladin done to change the meta so much? For starters, most of the top aggressive decks from the last report have dropped. The only ones to maintain their tier 1 status come from the Priest class. Divine Dragon Priest and Shadow Dragon Priest both remain in tier 1 thanks to the power of Timewinder Zerimi. Zerimi gives both decks a way to go over the top, providing an extra turn to deal lethal damage. Both archetypes have their advantages and disadvantages, with Shadow Dragon Priest generally being stronger in the mirror and against Miracle Rogue and Divine Dragon fielding a better matchup into other decks. Another development even Paladin has led to is the rise of Miracle Rogue. Miracle Rogue has two popular builds to pick from right now. The first is a traditional build with very few minions to guarantee draw consistency. Arcane Giant, Lothab, and Prize Plunderer are your key targets. This version does extremely well at swinging the board by turn 4. Once it's taken initiative, Lothab can lock out opponents from ever recovering. The second build takes a more novel approach to deck building. Prize Plunderer and Shadow Shadow Step are cut for more proactive minions like Scribbling Stenographer and Frostwolf Warmaster. The rogue plays a lot of spells early, so it's very easy to cheat these out in the first two turns of the game. Check out our Miracle Rogue write up after this video to see which version our experts recommend for you. There's one deck that has been able to defy all odds this meta Reno Quest Mage. Compared to our other tier 1 decks, Reno Quest Mage isn't proactive. It actively tries to stall the game until it reaches its win condition. Reno Quest Mage is also the only deck in tier 1 that utilizes Prince Renathal. Every other top deck right now sticks to 30 card builds. Consistency isn't a problem for Jaina. It feels as if nothing short of changing Time Warp itself will stop this deck from maintaining its dominance. Despite the influence felt from Even Paladin and other top decks, we don't think this metagame has reached a solved state yet. New decks are still constantly appearing and being iterated on, and some are showing huge potential to disrupt the meta even more. Reno Hunter, for example, has some promising low sample performances on Legend Ladder. One player was even able to hit rank 1 Legend with the deck on the APAC server. Another new archetype that's begun to appear is Hook Tusk Rogue. This deck utilizes the new Sandbox Scoundrel to cheat out Pirate Admiral Hook Tusk alongside Bran Bronzebeard. The player can then plunder the enemy to steal the opponent cards. If you manage to play Hook Tusk a few times, then the opponent is rarely left with any cards in hand or deck. These decks only scratch the surface of the wacky and viable strategies seen play in the current metagame. For even more decks, check out our full meta report over at TempoStorm.com where we provide full breakdowns of dozens of archetypes for you to choose from. No matter your preference, you can find the perfect deck for you. As always, thanks for watching.